Communications High School held its 11th Color Wars Friday, June 6th, one of the last events of the year and a student favorite. This annual competition sparked school spirit and fierce rivalries. Students were divided into 10 teams. Pink, light blue, dark blue, orange, yellow, purple, red, gray, black, and green. This year, controversy and suspicion surrounded the red team, which students claimed to be stacked with SGA members, Mr. CHS, athletes, artists, and academics alike. Like in years past, the day began after first period with team chants followed by the tug of war. The final round of tug of war between yellow and red team had to be redone because of reports of students jumping onto the yellow team's roof. After a barbecue lunch provided by the PSFA, students began their athletic competitions, including soccer, 3v3 basketball, wiffle ball, and volleyball. They then went on to compete in a series of non-athletic events, including a tech challenge, art challenge, video game challenge, and quiz bowl. Though students enjoyed the usual festivities, New events and leadership made this Color Wars different from previous years. This year's Color Wars was the first under the leadership of communications principal James Gleason, who began advising the SGA after the previous advisor, history teacher Sharon O'Keefe, stepped down. Gleason believes his first time being in charge of Color Wars was successful. The students are just basically what makes Color Wars happen. It's not about uh, you know anybody being ahead or anything like that. It's just a matter of everybody's organized and um, and working together so you know the parents come out and help us out and and the students know where they need to be and that's what it's all about another change to this year's color wars was the addition of several events word guessing game catchphrase a three-legged race and limbo competition were among the new events students competed in the sga also revived an old favorite the sponge relay to this year's lineup before the results were announced, each team's faculty advisor competed in a musical chairs competition. This was followed by the pie-eating competition, won by the green team senior, Brendan Goss. After these final events, students returned to the cafeteria where the results were announced. Green team received last place, black and yellow tied for eighth, orange was seventh, gray was sixth, pink was fifth, dark blue was fourth, light blue was third, red was second, and purple team was first place. Reporting for Inkblot, I'm Olivia Malesko.